All right, we are playing some Senna support. We are running Fleet Footwork, Presence of Mind. Uh, what is this? Legend, Alacrity, uh, Cut Down. I'm trying to remember the names of these off the top of my head. I don't play these runes too often. Uh, biscuit Delivery, Approach Velocity, one Attack Speed, one Adaptive Force, and one Armor. Uh, Senna recently got some buffs, and I wasn't really expecting them to be all too good, but they really buffed her up. Uh, she's sitting at like a 52, 53% win rate at the moment as a support. Uh, really like the spot that she's in. Kind of the only carry support I like playing at the moment. Um, like the, the AP supports just don't really feel that good. I don't really like the, their spot in the meta. Um, however, by the way, I got to ping this because it's a Shen support running ghost. So maybe a river Shen strat coming out. Um, but worth mentioning, I don't like this bot lane combo at all. We picked at the same time and just did not have very good synergy at all. Kogma needs a support that can keep him alive. Senna needs an ADC that can kind of manage um, on their own and stay alive himself. We just don't work together well at all. However, this lane that they have isn't that good either. Um, I don't see how they really synergize either. So maybe we're fine. I really like my odds into a Shen support. Should be able to see his engage coming as long as I'm spacing properly. Uh, should be able to avoid that. Um, also, just a melee support matchup is uh, good for Senna. Just because I can um, play a little bit more aggressive and get a lot of souls that way. Already feeling pretty good on it. Um, he also has Ghost, which is really troll, because I feel like even that last taunt that he missed, if he flashes on me, maybe we die. Don't even know. Don't have to watch out for a flash taunt here, either. He could still be in the area, by the way, so... Not out of the woods yet. But so far, feeling really free to play as aggressive as we possibly want. He's ghosting already. Yeah, two visits so far. Lee Sin's still here. That's three visits from Lee Sin so far. All we've had to burn so far is a heal. Um, also, do need to keep in mind that I have barrier this game, something that I don't run super often. But something that I need to get into a better habit of taking when I'm playing Senna. Ignite doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'd prefer to take heal, but my ADC took heal this time. See here. Okay. Really good positioning there on the sidestep. Nice and easy. All right. So really, really don't love Kogma Senna, but the lane that they have is so bad that I'm able to play super aggressive, watching out for the Shen engage, keeping my spacing, having good poke, gathering a lot of souls, playing aggressive, also watching out for ganks, good movement when Shen does go in. Overall, just really, really solid stuff. Kind of overextending a little bit here to make sure we get this push in. I can get like some poke off on the Shen, but that's not my main focus right now. I just want to get this pushed in. Alright, good stuff. Yeah, it was a really good sidestep. I think, um, honestly, it might have been a bit of a misposition for me because we knew he was there. Uh, but the sidestep was just beautiful. Sometimes you make the bad, like the wrong play, and it works out. And I feel like that might have been the case there. Should have respected the Shen being there a little bit more, positioned differently. Uh, maybe ward the bush so we saw the engage coming a little bit. But can't complain about the result. Like I said, there aren't many carry supports in the game right now that are strong. Senna is kind of the only one. And my team has two kills. I have both kills. If I'm looking to pick Senna and carry the game, this is exactly the start that I'm looking for, right?
Just gotta continue to do the same thing. Position well enough that we can watch for the Shen Gauge. Watch out for ganks. Look to play aggressive, but don't overextend and put myself in a, in a bad situation. I'm pretty sure they're on Dragon here. Oh. Yikes. Okay, they are not on Dragon. Wow, how long were they sitting in that bush for? Okay. What is it? 150 shutdown? Not terrible. What did they use there? Do we know? Other than Ziggs ulti? Saw Ziggs roaming down. Thought for sure they were on Dragon. I'm honestly shocked they were sitting in that bush. But they have been playing pretty cheesy. Shen support with Ghost. I mean, this is probably what I should be expecting, right? It's okay. Nothing has changed. Still have to take the same approach. Still looking to play aggressive. I mean, I want to think they're on Dragon again, but I really don't know what to expect anymore. You can't hear your own. Maybe look to shove this one in. All right, let's try this again. Was able to walk through that bush finally. Um, he should just be dead. I could ward on the other side of the wall, but that's more for helping mid watch out for ganks. Instead, I'll get this down. Thirty souls in nine minutes. Pretty good stuff so far. I'd love to get back to just playing the lane normally, though. I mean, they've got to be here, right? Okay. Stealing a Shen ulti is pretty interesting. Oh, wow. My top lane is getting destroyed. I'm going to be honest. I did not recognize that. Okay, got eyes on Lee here. We know Lee's still somewhat bot side. Have pretty good vision. They're playing really safe now too, so they're not giving us many opportunities to play up. Is he here or is he here? God damn. Alright, I mean, just well played to them, I guess. They're playing cheesy, but cheese is working right now. They're doing a really good job playing around the vision. I did not know that Lee was there. I had an idea he was bot side, but in the bush, didn't see that coming. And then when Shen just comes out of the bush and, and goes, it's really hard to avoid. Kind of what I was talking about earlier when I had the sidestep. It was probably the wrong play, but the, the right result, or like a good result. Those trapped in darkness need light the most. That time, mispositioned again. Uh, I got punished for it this time. This Lee is really strong. That was just one Q. I'm okay to roam to Rift. I just gotta watch out for Lee because he one-shots me. Okay, things aren't going as well after the first two kills. A lot of bot lane focus this game. We still got a lot of souls though. So I'm still strong. Jesus, we can't hit this thing.
Okay, out of wards, sitting on about a thousand. We'll recall here. I like the position that I'm in, though. Like, yes, I had an early lead. Yes, things haven't been going as well since then. But I feel like I'm in a position that I can carry this game. And that's not a position you get to be in very often as a support. So, kind of cool. I feel a little bit more pressure, and I like feeling that pressure. Mm, I don't know if ulting there saves them or not. And I just got back, but I have my item, so I guess I just recall. Locked a lane, got a double kill left. Okay. Yeah, it's pressure, but it's it's a good kind of pressure. Sometimes it feels a little useless when you're playing support and you're like, well, I'm doing everything I can, but at the end of the day, it's up to my team. Okay, I saved my ulti and I'm happy I did it now. Was afraid Jason was going to get bursted down. I don't want to hover for Lee Sin to potentially come to this. But then my bot side is also playing weak side. Uh, I guess I'll go. Okay, there's the Lee. Man, my top lane is struggling. Do I have any kind of frontline here? If I have a frontline, I can actually do something, maybe. Oh man, this York is just so strong, though. Now he's rotating. This might just be their drag to get. Positioned well there. Oh no no no! What are you doing, my man? We see them all in there, and he went in. Okay, what can we do this game? I've seen a lot of Yorks lately just take over games. I don't know if the champion's actually just really strong, or people don't know how to play up against it, or what. But this guy. As soon as we got to champion select, he said, I'm going to pick AP top. First pick Nazar top, and then just got destroyed. My team's also just making super questionable plays. Like, what are we trying to accomplish there? That dragon is just gone. We're trying to steal it as Jace mid. Yeah, game got very, very hard out of nowhere, didn't it? And I guess I get this, though, if none of my teammates are looking for it. Place a defensive control word here. Okay, good positioning there, good team fight. York though, just still split pushing. Shutdown or what? 300. 
and he lives. Yeah, definitely very, very winnable, that's for sure. I'm huge right now. But York can kill me, Lee Sin can kill me. Zinx is pretty far behind right now, but Champion's actually really strong when he gets some items. sai has got some damage. Shen gets on me, I'm dead. This is the pressure I wanted though, right? This is why I picked Senna, so I can actually carry the game. The Souls has definitely slowed down a little bit though. We were off to like a crazy streak to start this game. Uh, I think Rift is fine. Chasing a bit hard here, guys. Okay, it's fine. Please live. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's alive. Okay, two items. We're pretty big right now. Traded Rift for a tower and a kill. Honestly, not super worth, because Rift is good for getting a tower, and we just traded the tower for it. Part of me keeps wondering when I'll I'm kind of okay to fight here, though. I think Rift, we, we can crack mid in him, or excuse me, mid tower without Rift, and then using Rift for second one could be really good. And then maybe you transition that into dragon. Okay, nice. Kind of the best they got. It wasn't much. Okay, don't want to get ahead of myself. Yes, I'm strong. Yes, I do a lot of damage, but still need to focus on objectives here. Oh, wow, these things don't die. Actually, I think they're fine. They should get that. Okay. Big fight. 8, 2, and 3 at the moment. Let me just ping my whole team back. I am back. Um, what do you build on this champion? Rapid fire. Sounds good. The gun's not heavy after all the fear I've been carrying. Siege is a bit hard. Team fighting is, is actually a bit hard too. I think this is York trolling a little bit here. Okay, gotta move my control ward up a little bit. I can't walk that way because Lee Sin could be here. Yep, he's there. Need mid prowl still. Guys, this is not necessarily how we want to fight. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. Juices are flowing now. It's not often you get a flash forward and get a double kill as a support. Oh, Santa feels so good right now. Or maybe it's just the fact that I actually get to, like, carry a game as support for once. Oh, man, we are feeling real good right now. Probably should have stayed on the map for like two more seconds to grab a camp and get my rapid fire, honestly. I'm just gonna grab an L. Take this nice and slow. Okay. Time to not throw. This game is going to have a big impact on tomorrow's support tier list. Uh, let's actually do that tier list after this game. But my tier lists are not super biased. It's really based on win rates. Small talk wasn't really part of but even then, Sena has an like, insane win rate right now. So It wouldn't be... Ah, uh, okay. I didn't want to overextend because I didn't know where people were, but they're bot. Okay, everybody's alive. We're good. We're pushing. I think we're okay here. Dragon in the 45. I'm out of wards. Two. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, never mind. They still win. Okay. Oh. Okay. I got a little worried. I might have threw there. All right. We are good. Let me double check the win rate one last time. It looks like Infinity is the go-to after this. What even did the most damage there? It was her E. Did she flash? I feel like she she E flashed. Cause I tried to position well enough that uh, I wouldn't be hit by it. But if she does E flash, I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. She flashed. Okay, that makes sense. Cause I am a lot stronger than her. But if she ults and then E flashes and I get hit hit get hit by the E, then there's nothing. I can do. Okay, not bad. It's a bit awkward at first because I couldn't actually walk up without my team. I always yell at my ADCs for not hitting the towers. I'm finally an ADC, so I get to hit the tower. What a game. Finally nice to carry a game of support for once.